Welcome to Gabe Soup. Today we are playing 3D NES Mega Man. My name's Ed. My name's Joe. So here's a cool fact about 3D NES. It's a free emulator which will make any NES game 3D. There are certain uh, configurations that you can download and they will uh, take your favorite games and apply some sort of 3D effect to them. As you can see here, this is this kind of blows my mind. I didn't know such a thing was possible. But uh, if you go on the, you just Google 3D NES, you can find configuration files for this, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, all the, really a lot of the classics. Uh, and they all have some various various amounts of 3D applied to them. I think they look quite cool. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to play through uh, some of this. Some of this ga gr great, <laughs> great game. I mean, it's okay. We had some problems with Mega Man 3, but Mega Man 1 is pretty good too. For its time. Who are we going to kill first? Bomberman. Bomberman. Look at him. Yeah, I'm looking at him. So I think that the Mega Man games are one of the best examples that I've seen so far for use with 3D NES. Like we tried Double Dragon, it didn't look that good. Yeah, Double Dragon 2. Double, Double Dragon, Dragon 2. Yeah, it yeah. didn't look good. Double Dragon 1, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Right. They probably look similar, right? They're built on the same principles graphically. I don't know, maybe not. But Mega Man, just for some reason, I bet uh, Mario would work really well too, like Super Mario Bros. 3. Yeah. I imagine that yeah, would probably be... Probably platformers are going to look the best. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So these blue things just give you points. Yeah, that was... Mega Man 1 is a strange game. It was kind of a, a bridge between... between getting... between point-getting games and, uh, point-getting. Scoring games and... games that were just based on, you know, survival and... and getting to the end. Yeah, you could tell the, they... The rewards for, for games and... In, in the... for very old games, especially arcade games, the reward was generally getting the highest score. And that kind of right. used to hold over until this point, and uh, it was still in. They still left it in this game. Yeah, you could tell they they didn't quite want to abandon that, even though they should have. And luckily, they did in the next game. Yeah, yeah. The reward comes in just being able to beat the game, and then later on, speedrunners uh, come into the picture, and, and people trying to perfect their game. It's kind of funny, the spikes down there, you can see how they're like kind of being pushed out. They look a little bit weird. They don't really look like spikes now. And there's always occasional uh, glitches. This is, I think, fairly recently came out. Yeah, each game needs to be configured separately. It's not like it's just an emulator that runs every game in three dimensions. Right. There's, there's a bunch of different settings and things that, that someone has to go in and, and edit to make, to make everything look right. So there's probably still going to be some uh, graphical glitches here right. and there. Like you see, like it's sort of like a tearing thing going on in the back yeah. there. Yeah. But you know, for what it achieves, that's well worth the price. I uh, I was looking at the there, yeah. There's a repository, and people will make their own configurations for each game, and you can affect things like the depth, like where the lighting comes from. There's a lot of a lot of options. So and it probably just takes a little bit of tinkering until you find out what works best. So maybe we'll show that off in a little while, just how the uh, how you can actually affect the, the 3D look for yourself if you want to. But, you know, for the best results, just go with what other people have already tried out. And you also need a copy of the original game, so this doesn't actually come with... Uh, the configuration file is not the ROM itself. You'll need a copy of the ROM, which you should do from your original copy of the game. You yeah, should you back should, it up onto your PC. Yeah, you should back it up. You should buy whatever equipment that it is. I mean, we know what the equipment is, but I just can't think of it offhand how you even do that. <laughs> like, I've done it so many times, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, I, I know all about it. I just, I'm blanking on the name. It's really strange. <laughs> um, I, you know, I heard that even that is illegal, though. Does that make sense or no? I don't know. To, I mean, because you're basically dumping somebody else's files and... I don't know. It's probably... But how else are you going to... Like, are you going to get some kind of a capture card and then set up your old NES and... We would never play old games on GS if we had to do it that way. No. That's just... Are you kidding? I haven't, I haven't touched a console in years and... Like, a console like this, an old school... Hey, that 1-Up re re replenishes. There. Sweet. <laughs> I haven't played an NES or an SNES, like an actual machine hooked up in years, though. Because who would? Because you gotta... You gotta, you know, you know, plug it into a TV and get all the settings to work and blow in each cartridge. It's a, it's a nightmare. You can do this. And sure, this is a nightmare to set up too, but at least it's... They do it's... make... <laughs> they do make newer uh, consoles right? that you can play the old games on. Like, I think there is... I don't know what company makes it, but there is an old console... There is a console that plays... I think it's... 
NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, and maybe N64 games all on one console. That's weird. You can you still control? I can still control, yeah, but I would appreciate it if... Okay. I don't know why that happened. We just had a little pop-up come up in the uh, bottom corner. Yeah, I didn't know that NES had pop-ups, because we're playing on an actual console here. I don't know if that showed up in the recording. Or not. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. But think it blocked my view of playing, so I'm going to blame that on my death. You should. I, w I was actually was not planning on winning that battle because I have very little life going in. Yeah, that's the strategy for Mega Man. If you're low on life, you might as well just kill yourself. I'm also not great at Mega Man. I beat it a bunch of times when I was younger, but I haven't played it in a long time. I'm not nearly as good at this one as I am at 2 and, and 3 a little bit. I'm probably best at 2. I'm okay at 3. I'm oh, eh, a little bit worse at at the first one, and the rest of them, I'm, I've, I've beaten them all at least twice, but four through five, I'm not as familiar with. Four through five, so four and five. Or four through six, <laughs> Four through, hey, you killed him. You really wrecked him. Yeah, I remember, I remember the order of the bosses in this one, and I remember my muscle memory, hopefully, will serve me well enough. Yeah, I've never actually completed this game. This. Actually, who do you use the bombs on? Oh, you Everyone. Press a to go. Oh, uh, yeah, Cutman. We use cut bombs man. on Cutman. 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 I'll cut you down to size. Where's the logic in that? Bombs beat scissors? Yeah, they, they blow them up. Shouldn't it be rocks beat scissors? Like uh, hard man beat scissors? Yeah, I should be messing around with these settings a little more. Oh, this is actually kind of hard. It's a little bit too skewed. I'll to, fix it. To play. We'll fix it, sir. So, this is the blocks that hard man can break, right? Those blocks there? Hard man or guts man. Gutsman, yeah, guts guts man. Guts man. You know, there's too many men. <laughs> too yeah. many men in yeah, my They life. need to have more women in these games. JK, they don't really need to have more. What about Splash Woman? That's fine. I mean, there can be, but it doesn't really matter. They're just they're fucking robots. We give a shit. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Robots don't have genders unless, well, they don't have genders. There's some interesting. I'm not even gonna talk about it. Talk about it. All right, yeah, there was some interesting, interesting con con controversy, quote unquote, in the sense that there wasn't really a controversy at all, with one of the, I think, the community managers for Mighty Number no. Nine. Oh yeah, and she. I sent you a link to that. Yeah, she came out and said some things that you shouldn't say if you're trying just to promote your game. She was, you know, taking a political stance on certain things that didn't need to be said. Yeah. So trying yeah. to inject fake diversity into. Right. In the Mighty Number no. Nine. Because <laughs> that's what everybody was hoping for. Yeah. Not just, you know, return to form, classic robot masters. There's a time and a place to push your agenda. It's not here. It's not in games. Not in these games, anyway. Jesus. Yeah, it's like, make your own game if you, if you want it to have racially diverse characters and stuff. Plus, racial diversity is about the most shallow diversity imaginable. Yeah. Like, real diversity is diversity of ideas. Is that slowdown present in the original, yes. too? <laughs> yes. So, they had trouble displaying those four enemies plus Mega Man on yep. screen, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely remember that. I've played this game a pretty decent amount, but... Like hey. I said, I'm no expert. I'm yeah. like a speedrunner, but... That's kind of cool, though, to think that they made five other games after this. Even though they were reaching their limitations in some form in this game, they still managed to uh, pump out five other... All of them great. Yeah, yeah, really. This is the only one in the series that is... I wouldn't say great, but still good or even very good. They definitely hit this formula Whoa. pretty closely on the first try, I would say. I, I really like this game, and the music is definitely on point. Some of the best music on the NES. Yeah, I wonder, if, is this anybody's favorite? If this is your favorite Mega Man game? Let us know. I'd be curious to hear, because, you know, I know that, you know, like you just said, it's not the best Mega Man game for NES. I think uh, a lot of people will like two or three a little bit more. But all of them are serviceable. You yeah, know? probably the best one. The best one, uh, in my opinion, is probably three. But my favorite, still two, just like... Yeah, I agree. It's the most popular, and it's just, it's just very fun. From a design standpoint, not the best one. But from a fun standpoint... Which arguably is more important. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, where do you more draw important. that line? Yeah. I mean, three is more balanced because you can't just abuse the metal blade. Yeah. It did have shadow blade, which is kind of a nerfed metal blade. <laughs> but at least they tried to nerf it. 
and it's still very fun to use, but we were talking about it. Did we talk about it on the show or was it off the show that it would be really fun to make a game balanced around Metal Blade where your main weapon is you just start with the Metal Blade and that's just your weapon for yeah. the whole game. Yeah. I forget if that was on the show or not. I don't remember actually. That would be fun to develop. Alright. That'd be a fun project uh, just think... for Oh. I need to use I think Bomb might be better oh. on this guy. I forget. It does nothing. No, it, it didn't hit him. I think I'm gonna wait for it to explode. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna get killed anyway, so... Oh, yeah. I like uh, the... Let's not waste our bombs. The shadows are really... I, I like those shadows. They seem to be on everything, pretty much. Even the one that's on you right now. It, it makes everything pop a little bit more. Yeah. That's really interesting how they do that. Well, let's look on the ceiling. Take a look Ooh. on the ceiling here. Yeah, so this imagine. is something that they, they eliminated in future Mega Man games, is... The rooms before the bosses. Yeah. These, are, these should be safe rooms. <laughs> they learned to make them safe rooms, so they they got better at game design. Yeah, like they pioneered a little bit better game design. Yeah, because this doesn't by really... making these safer. Yeah. Completely safe, actually, in all future Mega Man games, and much much better than having these be full of enemies. And yeah, each 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 boss has a different. A different danger. Like you saw in the last one, it had those eyeball things as right. you're trying to go down a ladder. <laughs> That's really fun. To fight the boss. And then every time you want to fight the boss, you have to do this over again. Just give us a safe room. Fellas. Yeah, it's, it sounds so simple. Just make the room for the boss nothing. But it's way, way more effective. And it's way, way more fun. Because you're not taking uh, chip damage on the way to the boss, you know? You want it to feel like a fair fight when you get there. Oh, we actually have to... Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot how to do this. I think you have to, like, trick him into getting, getting oh, hit by it. Oh, God, really? All right, we got him. Uh, fuck, it doesn't really do that much. No, it didn't. I'm pretty sure this is uh, the guy that, that we want to kill with these bombs, though. I think he chases you, so we have to, like, throw the bomb and then get him to chase us. Hmm. He's too jumpy. He's a little jumpy. Do we have another life? I hope we do. If yeah, we, we don't, do. we'll be right back. We do. You've, yeah, I think this is your last one. Why don't you hit that save state button on our NES? I don't know if it has one, but let's find oh, out. Oh yeah, do we have one? We don't know. Oh, uh, whoops. Let me let me check. I think we maybe we don't. Have I don't one. think so. Nope. Okay, so we're playing uh, Mega whoops. Man One without save states. Without save states. It's just like the original NES, yeah. which is what we're playing on. So exactly. Most of my, actually, I think all of my playing of this game was on an original NES. I don't think I ever even played this on a on an emulator until. I mean, we're not using it. We're, we're using an emulator. <laughs> <laughs> Enough with the charade. But yeah, this is the first time I've played it on an emulator. Cause I owned the cartridge for this. I still do actually. But I might get rid of all my old cart cartridges and old games. Cause what's the point? All right, I'm trying to kill him with a buster here, which might be stupid, but. Oh, you're doing okay. Better than the bombs. Pretty sure that he's weak to the bombs, though. Oh, the health bars look a little bit bugged out. Oh, there we go. Bit, sort of. Here we go. Every time he tries to jump up, I just shoot him in the <laughs> face. It's pretty fucking rude, I would say. <laughs> All right. Well, well done. Work. Well done. Yes, yeah, so that's not perfect, but... I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be weak to the bomb, but how the fuck do you lure him over to it? No, maybe Gutsman is the one that was weak. No, I fucking did it out of order. Look what they, they he has the Gutsman things there. Those those bricks you can pick up with Gutsman's power and throw them at Cutman. Oh yeah. I fucked up. I mentioned that in the last long form we did it, in fact. Yeah. I, I didn't just put it together. Yeah, yeah, you just grab both of those and hit him with them. He it only, it only oh. takes two. It's really easy. <laughs> so I was supposed to do Cutman later. Okay, so... We did it the hard way. Yeah, I show my... My true colors. Anyway, I know this one for sure, though. Do it. Elect Man. This is, is also it, one of the better songs in the game. Is it Cut game. Man? Does Cut Man cut electricity? Yes. Absolutely. I'm 100% on this one. So sorry if you were yelling at your your monitor there. Oh, yeah. These don't die. Uh, what do we have? Cut. I think they die to cut, though. I'm pretty sure they do, actually. Yeah, this song is iconic. Nah, nah, nah. Why did I get those points? Who gives a shit? You know, uh, there, there's a streamer named... Oh, what's his name? Elecman. No. Game Joe. Game John. Game J06 is his actual name. And he plays a lot of Mega Man games. And you might have seen him at, like, for example, AGDQ or SGDQ. I think one year he did Mega Man 2 The Lost Level Speedrun. 
and he likes to make up lyrics to all the classic game themes. Like on the fly? Yeah, yeah, and he likes to talk about egg rolls, too. Have you ever heard a song about egg rolls? Sung to the, uh, I don't know, Mega this Man 2 opening annoying. theme? Oh, yeah, Get this out of is here. really rough. Yes, yeah, so whenever oh, I hear this, you. that's what I think of. I think of that guy. Maybe, let's look at it this way. It's gonna look cooler. <laughs> yeah. And it's not gonna help the gameplay, no. but... What if it, what if it did? I shouldn't be messing around with the, uh... With the 3D NES while we're showing it off. Yeah, this makes it actually harder. Oh, God. I mean, it looks so cool. When you, when you go in an extreme angle, it kind of makes it harder to judge how close you are to, uh... Well, everything. Yeah. It makes it hard to judge distances between objects. Oh, also, these are the disappearing blocks here. Oh, fun! These are really. This is a really fun mechanic. If you sure. want to make a really fun 2D game, <laughs> this is a great mechanic to add to your game. Um, what was that? What was that game? Salt and Sanctuary did it recently, and you, oh. you can just see how fucking fun it is. <laughs> you know, and they still went with that in Mega Man 2, right? And Mega Man 3, they they just kept going with it because it was so fun. They Mega Man knew. 2 was the was the most that they did. With it, the most egregious example, probably. Yeah, egregious. I and egregious meaning great. Right. right How right. many lives do we have? Oh, we have zero lives. So uh, we're gonna stop the recording here. Yes. All right, we're back. We're up here. I killed myself so that we could get to two lives because I realized we only had one life left. And then, huh? We're back at this really, really sweet part of this title. I forget which way to go. I think it's up here. This might be the better one because it was harder to do. Oh yeah, oh good. I get to fill up my cut dozer. Great. Now do it again! Yeah, the best part about blocks is that there's uh, there's no skill involved. It's all trial and error. You know, you just make a mistake and you pay for it. And then you get back on and you do the same thing. Yeah, you, wa you, know, you can watch it, right? You can yeah. kind of watch it happening. So here I'm pretty sure I remember what to do. You just kind of go slowly across them. But you know where you can't watch it? In Heat Man stage in Mega Man 2. When you're crossing that gigantic uh, yeah, gap. Yeah, that's why, that's why you gotta get item two. Yeah. Can you imagine? Have you ever done that without item two? Because I never have. No. No, why would you? There's there's a part in Mega Man 2, if you don't know, where it's those disappearing blocks, but it's all over a bottomless pit, basically, because it's lava. And... Oh, come on. It's a couple screens worth. So you can't, you can't observe the pattern beforehand. You just have to go. Well, at least we get to start right here. Yes, yeah. I hit the checkpoint. Yeah, that thing down there is a fool's errand. That's a trap, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think they changed, I think they tightened the control after this one too, because you don't move right away when you when you move in this. Oh yeah, I can hear it. I can hear you clicking the D-pad. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a delay on your on your movement. I think it's so that you can turn around without moving. Oh. See how you can turn around without moving and Right. Which I guess there's there's something to be said for that, but I think it's better to to just slightly move and and have it be a little bit more responsive. Yeah, luckily that's not really an issue. It makes the player feel more like it's their fault rather than the game's fault when they get hurt, when the control is more responsive. Yeah, these jumps are ridiculous too. Yeah, we were talking about that off-camera when we restarted this level, that the first room in this level, you, you can hit your head. When It's not it's not any danger, you don't fall in a hole from doing it, but you can hit your head on the, on the ceiling and it sends you back down to the bottom. And you have to just start. You just have to start the the screen over again. Looks like you can fall through here. Yeah, it does. Hmm. I guess it's just a glitch. And what's that over there? We need gutsman. Oh Gu fuck! We need that item. What is it? We need gutsman to get over there. We don't have gutsman. We're supposed to fucking kill gutsman to kill fucking cutman, and now because we need that. That's a that is a weapon. We're gonna need to come back to this level later, <laughs> which we'll probably just do off camera. That's really stupid. Maybe we won't even get that far. Maybe it won't be an issue. Alright, here we go. These are deadly. Because they knock you off, right? Oh, come on, you fucking asshole. I also probably shouldn't be wasting my cutsman. Wait, I don't want to use bomb, though. We want to use plane. P. P. Is that what P stands for? Plane? I think someone in the comments... No, I don't know if anybody ever figured it out. No, no one's ever figured it out. No one ever. And if history. someone has figured it out, I'll just pretend that they haven't. Right, right. Nobody to this day... Wait, it probably just stands for player. But why would player? Why? Yeah. I like this. I don't know. I like the sound of plane better, but even that is kind of weird. What up, play? <laughs> Very funny joke, Joe. Very funny. 
It does sort of breathe new life into games like this when you can see them in 3D. For some reason, I don't know why. It just makes them more entertaining. Yeah, has the novelty worn off for you yet? For me? Yeah. No. No, I quite like it. I quite like it. Yeah, I should be shifting around the... Oh, we're not going to do it right now, though. That's the thing. You can't really shift around the, the angle while you're playing. No. We could have Edge shifted around while I'm playing, which would be double annoying. <laughs> having someone else do it. Now, could let, be a, let's do this. It could be a fun challenge run, though. If I was just constantly adjusting the window while you were trying to play. Oh, yeah, this is a great idea. So if you mess up once, you get sent back to the bottom. Yeah. There's definitely some... Oh, fuck you. I, I don't know why I decided to set the... All right, let's just make this a little bit more straight on so that we can we can uh, judge this a little bit better. I'm going to blame 3D any... Wait, did it just... I think it just shifted it a little bit by itself. I'm not sure if it did that when I entered this. Maybe some. Maybe the guy that made this made it so that it shifts when you enter this area? I don't know. Or maybe my eyes are just deceiving me. I didn't notice anything. Yeah, my eyes are probably just deceiving me. And the timing on this is really close. You gotta get these pretty close. You know, or you get hit and sent all the way to the bottom. This is also the area leading up to the boss fight. <laughs> if you fall in there, it's instant death, I assume. Well, I guess you can't fall in there. No. Oh, I... You know, oh. I, I... That's bad. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be wasting it either. Do we have one more? I think we have one more left. I think so. But we have no... Sea blade. Now do it again! Oh yeah, we don't have sea blade, so... Can we grind? We, I'm pretty sure we can't go back. Nope. I was 95% sure that we could not go back, and I was correct. Yeah, this is a horrible lead up to a boss, this this room. So this is not a great run of Mega Man. And this game's definitely worse than I remember. But still, pretty fun. Yeah, especially compared to all the trash that's on the NES. And there's plenty of it. Please don't hurt me. Okay. <laughs> you know, before Mighty Number no. 9 came out, I would have said even the worst Mega Man game is still good enough to be played. And then I found out that's not necessarily the case. Luckily, Mighty Number no. 9 isn't a Mega Man game. Oh, fuck you. Wait, that hurts? What happened? It hurts you? It does a lot of damage. His attack does... Oh. You, can only, you can only get hit three times. Wow. Okay, we're back. We decided that we are going to tackle Gutsman because we were going to have to go back to Elect Man stage anyway to get that item that you saw that we pointed out while we were playing his stage because you actually can't complete the game without getting that item. So here's some game design for you. Don't put a, an item that you're going to have to backtrack for and maybe not even remember how to... You might not even remember that there were some Gutsman guts man bricks in that level that you had to get through for that item, and you don't know that that item is going to be required. You don't even know what it does. And this is pre-internet days, so you can't even look it up. But yeah, you need that item. That's your that's like your item one, sort of, in, in this game. Oh, come on, you fucker. Yeah, it's really interesting how they remedied that in Mega Man 2 and, and, and beyond, really. Is they just gave you those when you beat certain bosses. And also, in Mega Man 2, you can't replay stages at- Fuck you! I was hoping I would at least get on the first platform here. This is what I was dreading. I'm so disappointed. Making a fool of myself here. Because this is already really hard to judge. Actually, this is probably going to be even harder with the th on 3D. Oh, yeah. I'm really making a hard mode here. Like, nor normally this is... Um, yeah, you need, you need very accurate... You need to be very accurate with your jumps. This is easily the hardest stage in in the main stages of the first of Mega Man. Yeah. Yeah, those jumps are kind of tight. And there's a lot of them. There sure are. However, right, the, here we go. the rules of this section are taught to you very well. Cool. What a hard game. It looked like I landed on it. I don't know if that was 3D NES or if it was just programmed like an asshole. Who programmed this and was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna make it the worst! I'm gonna make it the worst! No, they didn't know. No, I mean... They landed pretty close to the bullseye on this attempt, and then they, you know, they got there on Mega Man 2 and 3. So not bad. Yeah, 2, they actually kind of went in the opposite direction. They made it a, a lot easier, and gave the, the player... They were probably too lenient. FUCK! 
I like how you fall so quickly. Yeah. Alright. We'll, we'll, we'll try again. If, uh, if I fail this time, we'll just go off camera and come back. Isn't that strange? Because I've, I've died there so many times, and you always notice that when you fall from those platforms, it's like the same speed that when you start the stage, you start to, you know, you warp in. It looks like it's that speed. It's definitely not the speed that you just normally fall with. I don't think so. Yeah, it's, it is really it's weird. add insult to injury. Yeah. But I, I definitely used to be better at this. I used oh, to get sure. this usually on my first or second try. Yeah, but when's the last time you've played this game? It's probably been a decade. Really good at it when I was a kid. Or pretty good at it, I guess. Better than I am now. Oh, fuck. There you All go. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> and that guy just, uh. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's fair. pretty reasonable. He's a pretty reasonable attack pattern here. Yeah, I well, would say. That, that enemy behavior. Well, look, they give you that. Oh, that's nice. They're like. They realized what they were doing. They knew the fuck what they were doing. Yeah, why did they just fix it instead of, uh. Giving you health afterwards. Just don't have that section. Yeah, stop trying to band-aid all your broken parts of the game and just unbreak them. That's the better solution. That was, that worked. Oh fuck, it's back. Yep, it works both ways. Yeah. You can kill him by scrolling him off the stage, but then he spawns again. Oh come uh, on. Right okay, I think I think you just have to tank him. Seems like it. Oh good. Now do it again. Oh fuck, I forget which one to go down. Let's go down the far side. Yeah, trial and error. I'm glad that... Wow. Yeah, that was the right one. No, the other side was the right one. We wanted to get that health up there. Oh, cool. Oh, <laughs> holy lord. This is almost as bad as Mighty Number no. 9, that spike there, but because yeah. the scrolling makes the screen pause for a minute, you're going to notice those spikes in time. Yeah, you have most the likely chance to see them if you're, if you're, if you're paying attention. Yeah. We do not have a Lechman's weapon, do we? No. We have cut man's up. No, let's cut, let's cut this bastard. I don't yeah. think it actually hurts him. Oh. Those things do a fuck ton of damage. Yeah, well, you tried to cut a robot. Well, now we don't really care about... Oh, we do care about getting health. I was going to say we don't care about getting health, but we do. We just hold left here so we don't get hit by the... Okay, the first time I was there, I held left and I didn't get hit by the spikes. The second time, I, I must have been slightly more to the right that, that second time. Hopefully, we will be able to get to the boss here and kill him without having to redo this stage, because this is getting embarrassing. Mega Man. Mega Embar Man. Embarrassing... Embarrassing men for decades. Alright, let's see what kind of challenges this safe room has for us. This safe room! Uh, just a couple of these, ga these guys. I couldn't decide whether to say bastards or guys, and I wound up saying g g g guys. I want these bombs, and if I remember right, he's pretty fucking weak to these bombs. Look, he has guts blocks too. Yeah, but he doesn't use them. I'm pretty sure he just stands around there like an asshole and gets hit by bombs. Yeah, it seems like it. it seems like the right thing to do. Oops. Oh fuck, I got frozen, but still. Yeah, but you wrecked him. It don't even matter. Don't even matter. Alright, we killed him. Cool. So yeah, he's pretty easy. It's really weird that those blocks are there. Just for show. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to Elecman stage. Now that we have the Gutsman ability, we're gonna break through that wall, we're gonna get that item. We can do that on camera if we remember. And then we will come back at the boss. Alright, here's that item we were talking about. Guts. Boom. Guts. I got guts. Fuck yeah. We got that weapon. Now it doesn't even explain to you what it does, but... I'll just show you real quick what it does. You do this, you get a, you get a platform. You oh, can cool. make it really long, too. You can just stand on that platform. It flashes a lot because the NES can't really handle it. And uh, there you go. Okay, and here's what we're going to do. We just go off screen, and we can come back down here and get another copy of that of that item. Hey, it oh, refills your energy. It just refills the energy for it. That's weird. Does it refill your energy for other weapons? I don't think so, but if it does, we are going to switch to the Cutman and refill our Cutman. It does not. No. Okay, we'll be back for real this time when we get to Electman. Oh. We have to do one more of these. Oh, All right. God. And that's fine. We'll just, uh... It's not even anything different. It's the exact same puzzle as the room below you. Yeah. And puzzle. Obviously, we took a little bit of damage coming through here. Yeah, this level was just copy and pasted twice. It's the exact same level, 
just doubled everywhere. Why don't you tell them about uh, our cutman, our cutman ability situation here? Oh yeah, hit that. Yeah, so Cutman. You need Cutman to get through this stage because there's those guys that run around on platforms. Yeah. You can freeze them with the main buster, but it makes it extremely frustrating because you can't kill them. And if you don't, if you freeze them in a, the wrong spot, you're gonna land on them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And the 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 platforms that you're jumping to and from make it impossible to. Oh, I was facing the wrong direction. Yep. Great. Just good. Oh, good. you got it. You got it. Good. Okay. The thing about this game is that. I don't feel accomplished. A lot of the times when you succeed at something, you don't feel accomplished, you just feel relieved. Yeah, that's that you bad. Didn't, that you weren't frustrated by... Oh yeah, the clear points are also... They're either random or they increase by 20,000 for each stage you get. For each stage you beat. Anyway, who cares? They're meaningless anyway. Yeah, they're meaningless. Yeah, it was Iceman. I was I was right about it, and I bet Ed quite a large sum of money. Right. Uh, he's, uh, he's going to be living in a halfway house. What's a halfway house? Uh, it's not somewhere where you would actually go if you were if you were poor. It's somewhere where you go when you get out of prison. Oh. Look at Iceman, he's so cute. Look at that little fella. He looks just like Mega Man. Only if Mega Man bit. was wearing, uh, you know, that thing. A what little, do you call that? A little hoodie. A dress. A hoodie. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of small things with this game. Like, that last level. Okay, Lexman stage is mostly traps. Most of your damage is going to come from just getting hit by traps that have a really, really, really small window, as we just saw there, just trying to get to the boss. See, so yeah, the, these enemies, they're not that bad. Those those green guys, what you have to do is shoot them in the head. If you shoot them in the legs, the, the torso and head fly off. Of course. And they have the most annoying and undodgeable attack pattern. It's not sign but behavior if you just, at least, right? But if you just shoot them in the head, no, it's probably worse. <laughs> it's double sign. What's double sign? Uh, it goes in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you heard it here first. From now on, a circle will be called a double sign. Yeah, we're only ever going to refer to it that way. Okay, now... I only have one life, though. Yeah, we'll kill it. We'll kill Iceman. He's super weak to electric. Good. Now you can use cut all you want. We can, because we don't fucking need it for anything else. Yeah, it's broken. That's so messed up. I mean... Smack this shit up. There's so much we could say about that. Like it's real cool when you when you make uh, I take one one cut bullet to kill. Good. Sorry, good. go ahead. It's really frustrating when you make uh, video games that. Well, no, it's frustrating when you're trying to make a Mega Man game, and it's a good idea to have the levels. Uh, you can make them easier by using some boss abilities. You know, like if you if you give the player a couple different ways to achieve the same thing to get through a certain path or something like that. You know, just give them options. That's good, but in the case of uh, that last stage, Electman stage, you had to use the cut to not only kill enemies but also to kill the boss. And there weren't enough regular enemies. F there weren't enough. En there weren't enough regular enemies for you to farm, so that you could replenish your cut. You just had to use it all, pretty much. Or, as Joe's just said a couple minutes ago, you just freeze those enemies. Like that's that's really bad. I understand where they were coming from, trying to get you to uh, think critically about it, but that's that's a really bad idea. To have the player just use up all their uh, special weapon before the boss. Yeah, there's just no way to refill it efficiently or safely. Yeah, and they could have yeah, having the enemy in that level. Yeah, yeah, they everything that Ed just said. <laughs> it was annoying. They could have just added more enemies. They could have added like a new room with uh, a safer pattern for you to farm if you really wanted to farm. And this, I like this a lot actually. Here we go. We just skip it. Did you know that for the speed runs? For this game, you can use that to basically just break the game. You can? I, I didn't know. You didn't know? I saw it once. I saw it once at SGDQ, I think. Like, you can sort of put that in a wall, and you stand on it, and you basically get shot from... Whoa! That was a really fast drop. Oh, and the, the floor is ice. Fuck you, fuck you, come on! Yeah, I think this game had something weird with its physics. That seems like a bug, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, that shouldn't happen. Sure it does. It seems like when you're standing on that, it counts as if you're falling. What the fuck hit me? Uh, what the nothing. fuck was that shit? That's really weird. All right, well, good. I'm really glad that that happened. Yeah, this game's really weird. So, it, yeah, it has a lot. There's a one up there. Where? Up the next screen. Well, I can't get it. You can't get it? No, that's not a ladder. That's like a, I don't know, background object. That's not a ladder? No. Oh. That's like a pipe kind of thing. Uh, what should we use here? Not this. Plane. We need yeah, either plane or cut, man. Yeah, see, that's not a ladder. Ah. It's like a... 
I don't know, let's try and look at it a little more dead on down there. See? It's like a pipe. I see. I see. Well, all right, let's just play in this angle here against this really strong enemy. That's a really good idea. See, they take so many fucking bullets. Yeah, they do. Does, they, uh, does a sniper Joe... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, does a sniper Joe drop out of it? But no. No. Good. All right, let's just fight the boss at this angle. Oh, God. These enemies. At least these guys are... Oh, they're side behavior. Yeah. Whereas what we like to say in the industry, half circle. Well, double sign is this. Oh, yeah, half circle. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yep. 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 I'm not wrong. I did my research. Nothing wrong with doing research. We got our half circles and double signs. All right, here's our E. Actually, this weapon's pretty OP in, in stages. This is before they made the wep the the boss weapons kind of nerfed and weak and weaker in Mega Man games. Like, this this Elect theme is pretty fucking good in the God. normal game. It's crazy how powerful these weapons are. The normal game. The levels. Right. Not just the bosses. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I think it increases with each stage. Yeah, this is a comfortable angle. Yeah, I'm enjoying <laughs> it. Which guy haven't we done, haven't we done yet? Uh, oh yeah, Keaton, Fireman. Fireman. Fireman might have my favorite music in the game. I don't know, it's a toss-up between Electman and Fireman, but I think Electman's stage is just so fucking annoying. But so is Fireman's is not much less annoying. I'm trying to think, what, which stage do I hate the most? Probably Gutsman. It's so hard to decide, though, because yeah. they're all so frustrating. All these, yeah, all these stages have some major flaws in them. I have to say, this game is not as fun as I remember. And, you know, we just played Mega Man 2 not that long ago. Yeah, Mega Man 2 is so fucking fun. And, I mean, playing this now, I'm realizing that there are, are definitely some things they brought into Mega Man 2 that they shouldn't have from this. They're nowhere near as frustrating. And yeah, maybe definitely. that's Maybe that's just my bias from having played the game so many times and over so many years, but... I think they might have went in the, in the opposite direction, making the player a little bit too powerful in Mega Man yeah. 2, but that's a lot more fun than, than just being frustrated. Yeah, they were definitely a lot more lenient. And I think also the way that just that the levels were designed makes the game uh, more satisfying. Yeah. You want the player to feel rewarded when they do something good. Right. Not frustrated not not frustrated oh, when they do something out. bad. No, it's not gonna work out at all. Uh, like what is that? What I'm gonna do is get killed anyway though, okay. because I I wanna have enough lives. I wanna get through this. Yeah, creating un unwinnable situations like that one we just saw. That's a bad idea. Yeah, you as we were saying, we want the yeah you want the player to feel rewarded when they do something good rather than frustrated when they do something bad. And when they feel frustrated when they do something bad, you just feel relieved when you get through that part of the game. Yeah. And then this game has a lot. There there are some rewarding parts of it, but a lot of the game is you just feel uh, you just feel relieved when you complete an area rather than rewarded. So we're gonna use Cutman here. Oh, you know what else we can do here that's really fucking OP? What's that? <laughs> yes. So how does that weapon work? It just goes in uh, three directions? 90 degrees, 90 degree angles? Yep. Perfect. Yeah, this is, that's awesome. It's almost the metal blade of this game. But it does eat a little more of your your power gauge as metal blade to does. Metal blade nothing. was like, th it's four, Every four per. Oh, four per, yeah. okay. Yeah. Can we kill these things with this? Yes, we can. Of course. Wow, it really is OP, isn't it? Oh, now do it again. Yeah, what is this? Is that what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to just go between them? Yeah. And if... Without the... Ooh. Without the electric weapon... I mean, come on. Yeah. How are you gonna do this? I think I'm just gonna use the electric weapon until it runs out. Yeah. It's so good. Cutman's weapon is decent, too, but it's slow. You can tell they, they, you can tell, that's not really the right way to say it. They, in the second one, they had a similar weapon to Cutman's weapon, which was called Quick Boomerang, and it's a lot more fun. It's really than, fast, too. Yeah, that's why it's more fun, because you can shoot so many of them. Yeah, it doesn't take up a lot of energy. Well, you know what? We can go over there and... Perfect. Okay, I guess we're going to be using one of them for that, and the other one is to use, to get some more of this electric power, which I love so much. What's down there? I don't know. It's fucking nothing. Oh yeah, you just fall down. That's what happens. I, that's just a bottomless pit then at the bottom? It's just death? Yeah. Cool. You know what we say about death here on GS. What up, bro? That's what we say. It's frustrating. What is that? What is that? Fuck you! Oh, come on. 
Why is there just a, a platform there that with nothing? What the hell? Oh good, here they come. Here they come. Clickety clack down the track. Yeah, a lot of a lot of these old a lot of games. Oh fuck! Like Castlevania games, the well, especially new, newer Castlevania games, like Metroid. Oh, come on, you fuckers! Get the fuck out of here! And then you stop when you get a power up. Come on! The a lot of times, especially in the the Metroidvania games, like the levels are very easy, but the challenge comes in the bosses. But in Mega Man games, uh, uh no, it's a little of both. If you have the right weapon, some of the bosses aren't hard, but that's about it. For the most part, it's all just fucking hard. And look at this. Look at this foreboding, <laughs> foreboding mechanism that we see. These fires going through Jesus. here. This is fucking fun, but let me show you a little trick I learned in the CIA. Oh, yeah. Hey, check that out. Yeah. We just skip this whole nonsense here. Thank God. All right, we need some more of this electric weapon. How did you even see that? Uh, I just knew it was there. Oh. I just sort of remembered that that happened. I have a little bit of memory of this game. Yeah, if you didn't so, know that, if this was your first time, you would have no. just taken damage for no reason. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies hiding in walls in this game. I'm pretty sure these die to electric as well. And that one didn't. Let's try it on this one down here. Let's oh, go! He you killed it! He got scared and ran away. Go a little faster. Son of a bitch. Alright. Let's kill this guy. Cool. Yes, it works. Oh, health. Uh-oh. It disappears too quickly, I noticed. It does disappear very quickly. Did you get that? I think you got I it. I didn't get it. Oh. Nah. Yeah, all the power-ups disappear really, really quickly in this they game. They do. Why did I go for... Who cares about points? Yeah, they just get me, though. Pick up... You just go for it. It's like, oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a thing. Hey, one I up. cannot get that one up. I the, will not get it. The, the, the thing... The thing with points in a game like this is that the enemies respawn infinitely, so... Whoever yeah, gets the most points... getting points. Yeah, it's just whoever has the most time to grind the same enemies over and over. That's not... That's an MMO. That's not Mega Man. Like, points are already meaningless. You don't need them in the game. What joys <laughs> are in our safe room? Oh, this actually isn't very hard. Yeah, the electric really makes things a little bit easier. You know, this is the same safe room that we saw in one of those other levels. Who are we fighting? Electric man? Yeah. No. Heat man. Fireman. Heat man. Ice. Does ice beat fire and fire beats ice, or just one way? I think it's just one way. Holy crap. It's not, it's not as powerful as I was expecting. I'm just tanking this bitch. Yeah. Oh, I fucking faced the wrong way. Oh, well, we got him. Gil, 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 gil. Well done. That's a cool shade of purple, though. Or blue. It looks it's like it's... a very deep blue. It's a little purple in it. Or a little a little bit more red in it than, than just a straight blue, I guess. Making it slightly purple, yeah. All right. Well, this is Dr. Willy. Welcome to Dr. Willy. You know how you select Dr. Willy? How? You just keep... <laughs> just keep pressing the D-pad, eventually you'll get to him. That's not awkward at all. Actually, you can only go left and right, I just realized. Wait, you can't press up and down? No. No, you cannot. You just have to press left and right to select which guy you want to battle. That's so really this strange. could just be a line. They could have had these these enemies select just be in a line yeah. if they wanted to. They just didn't. Probably because of the, the resolution, they wouldn't be able to fit the full sprites oh. and squares in each whatever. You, can't, you might know what I'm talking about. If not, it's really not an important point, so I'm just going to gloss over it. How many Wily stages are in this game? Are there still four? Four or five. I can't remember exactly. I remember being really hard and having really good music, but not quite as good as, you know, Mega Man 2 Wily Stage 1 music. Yeah. You can't really beat that. That's that... one of the best one of the best classic game songs of all time, but this is up there. That effect I would, I would was put really this cool, up there too. by the way. That UFO coming in, that yeah. was really cool in 3D. Yeah, I haven't been really fucking around with the 3D that much. Maybe the novelty has worn off for those of you at home. Oh, you know what? Why am I being a moron? Watch this. Uh, he still takes three hits. Yeah, it still does a lot. Well, and he's back! It actually takes more than three. Oh. Because I had softened him up. Oh, come on, you fucker! Huh. <laughs> Jump high. Okay, good. There you go. Sometimes he jumps Don't low. Don't do it! Yeah, I went for those points. <laughs> you need those points. <laughs> I risked. I took that risk. I believe it to be worth it, though. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep doing this electric. Oh, good. These guys, again. I have bad news for you, Joe. That guy's going to respawn. He certainly is. But what we're going to do is we're going to hope he jumps high. He did not. Yeah, what's up with that? A little consistency, please. It would be nice. There's no E-tanks in this game. Making it more difficult. Uh, I know this guy's weak to something. Is he it, seems is weak it to that. 
Yeah, we decided what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're gonna play a little bit more, but we're gonna call it pretty soon because we've been going for a long time, and uh, I'm also not sure if I'm gonna be able to beat the game easily. I'm sure I'd be able to beat the game with a lot of trial and error, but it's gonna be boring to watch if we record the whole time, and we don't have enough time to do a lot of it off camera. So we're just gonna play a little bit more, just to show some of the Wily stage and bullshit a little bit more about video games, as we are, as we do on this channel. Why don't you take it away, Ed? Check out that 3D. Whoa! Yeah. Speaking of time, be sure to check out Game Soup at the Beach next week. I will be delivering three episodes from the fresh from the beach, just for you guys. We have some interesting stuff coming up, including uh, Game Soup Arcade Number One, fresh from the beach with beach-themed graphics and commentary. We're going to be discussing the best kind of towels you can use at the beach to prevent sand from getting around your ears, eyes, and innards. GS Arcade probably will come out before this, though. Oh yeah, definitely, actually. So you've already seen it. And uh, this message has no effect. It's uh, completely meaningless. So thanks for watching. No, we're still here. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Did but you just... Check out this design here. It's really sweet. No, actually, there's a way to do this in you a know, safe way, but if you just look at this and yeah. don't know what to do, Man, you're gonna have a rough go of it. Here's, I'll tell you that much. Here's, oh fuck, I freezed it in the wrong place. Freezed, freezed, freezed. You said freezed. Here's the thing. I want to say that this oh, has better design than Mighty Number no. Nine, and I think it does for the mm, most part. I would, I would put it slightly over Mighty Number no. Nine, except for this room. And yeah, this isn't, this isn't great. And the ladder is in Electric Man stage, but. Yeah, they're both tied for bottom, bottom place. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try this. This is real nope, crap. didn't fucking work. Because what if you don't have any more ice to use? Oh, come on! Look at the way that the blocks above you are positioned so that... <laughs> this is a pixel-perfect jump <laughs> it's almost. It's done on perfect. On purpose. On perfect. Why didn't they just remove those blocks over overhead? I don't know. They would have made it a little bit easier, yeah, but... Right. Yeah, they made that... You know, Look at that fucking... There's so many jumps like that in this yeah. game where you just hit your head and fall either to your death or just to a place where you... You know, we should be thankful... It's just they, frustrating. We should be thankful they put a platform oh, there at the bottom when you fall. Also, I, I tried to shoot that guy with a... Oh, do it all over. A platform gun. Do it from the very beginning of the level. Yeah, I'll do it. What time is it? We got a little you have zero lives. I have zero lives. Alright, we'll play till I am murdered by, uh, by a giant crushing robot, a little jumping guy... A boss character, maybe. Or spikes! You know what's really cool? The design of this weapon is better than the design of the fire weapon in Mighty Number no. 9. I meant to point that out. Because look, <laughs> it does the same thing. It has like a circular attack around the character, yeah. but it also fires. Yeah. So you get a little bit of both worlds. Oh cool, he didn't respawn. Nice. So this is kind of a combo of leaf shield and a shooting weapon. So I kind of actually like the design of pretty much all the weapons in this game. I want to try something. Yes. Wow. Gravity defying. That did exactly what I wanted it to do, but now I have no electric. I have one more of those bastards, right? Just uh, stand right under him. He'll jump right over you. I'm hoping to kill him before he begins moving again. Fuck. Is he gonna respawn, maybe? No. Cool. Cool. Wait, what if we don't have guts here? Do we have to go back and grind those? <laughs> Do we have to go back and grind those robots? I guess. Okay. The truth is, I haven't played. The, well, I hadn't played Mega Man 2 in a decade, and that was about as good, about as good as I remembered. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say better. I wouldn't say worse. This is worse than I remembered, unfortunately. Oh come on! Yeah. <laughs> At least that that last jump is not pixel perfect. Yeah. You just have to do that perfectly. Now I'm gonna go for it. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna do. Oh, you can't shoot through walls? Uh. Do I have to hold it for longer? No, you can't shoot through walls. You can shoot just above. Perfect. No, that's not You still work. can't. Yeah, it doesn't help you at all. No, it doesn't help. That's, not at all. That's obnoxious. Mighty. Oh, I did it again. Uh, 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 we're going to use the last of our electric here. Cool. Do we have any electric? Wait, I can't see our... It disappeared. Where's our... Oh, it's probably hiding behind the, the uh, foreground up there. I would, why would they do that? No. Is uh, that because of the game or is that because of the... 
the 3D NES. No, I think it's just the 3D thing. I think it's a glitch. That's all. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, look, now you can see it. Oh, yeah. It was hiding behind the, <laughs> yeah, the gray blocks up there. All right, well, cool. Can we get up there? I think we... No. How could you... How do you, you not can't get switch? Up? You can't switch when that's. What? How do we get up there? I forget. Was it farther back? Oh, what was? What did it look like? Uh, what? Fuck. No, really. How do you get up there? Get out of here! Oh, you son of a bitch! How did I? Oh man, these things are annoying. Those little hoppers. Oh. <laughs> I can't remember oh. if you fall through the floor here. I don't think I was do. gonna say I think that was Mega Man 2. Oh, side behavior and spikes. Great. I don't have any. I have one more shot of electric. Fuck. What? Well, that game was called Mega Man. It's originally for the NES, now for the 3D NES, available for free on your. Well, the 3D NES is available for free. Mega Man, not available for free. Never heard of an emulator before.